person to cross the Atlantic. What, it, what is the world record at the moment? 40 days. Right? And what are you aiming for? 39, don't know. 38. 38. So that's, that's, that is being clever. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, the main challenge is what? At that time of year? I mean, well, heat. I suppose it's cold and heat. Sunburn. Boredom. Um, but you're, you're pretty busy all the time, because if you're not growing, you're looking after yourself. And if you're not doing that, you're eating and sleeping and, and making phone calls um, to the, those beloved at home. But the, the main thing about this um, challenge that I'm doing... Please, Irish. This man's rowing across the Atlantic. Respect, for God's sake. One of the charities that I'm raising the money for, or we want to raise as much as possible for, is the C Group. I didn't know about the C Group until P invited me on the Arctic Experience last year. And P for short, by the way, you may have spotted that just then. And it really, it was a fantastic experience. And the most important thing that I brought back from it was how we were looked after by Marines and their attitude, their ethos, the whole thing. And that's the one big thing that has stuck with me. And when I'm out there rowing in the middle of the ocean, a thousand miles from anywhere, and I'm feeling sorry for myself, I used to think about uh, what Ram Fiennes was doing, or Tom Crean, Shackleton's sort of unsung hero. But this time, yeah. when I'm feeling sorry for myself, I just think about those guys that um, have been injured and think, well, get on with your job, man up. They had a hard, much harder time than you. So it's a really, really good cause to see through. Let's raise as much as we can for them. And the Arctic Challenge is well worth whatever you can raise for it. It's fantastic. That's great to hear. Can I just ask you one last question? Just because I'm genuinely interested. There are two things I want to say. We've got a couple of people in the room, actually. Andy Hodge and Pete Reed, who are double Olympic gold medalists, both of them. But, but wait, no, they don't applaud them yet, please, because let's face it, all they've ever rowed is a paltry 2,000 metres, which anybody could bloody do. So, uh, how many miles is the Atlantic? 3,000. 3,000 miles. And is it the kind of thing that, that guy, Olympians could probably do, do you think? Oh, yes, Olympians have done it before, but uh, they need a bit of scene shift. So, those guys, if they want to come and do it, I'll, I'll show them how to do it and make a good time. <laughs> The word challenge is floating in the air. And, and, and last question, but Jay, I look, honestly would like to know, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're at sea for 40 days, you get tired and you do want to sleep and you're on your own, is there not a risk that you just kind of doze off and a passing whale just smacks you and that's the end? Oh, I came across a whale the last time. He's, he's stuck with me for 200 miles. But I'm always lashed to the boat. So if I, if I do fall asleep or fall over the side, um, it will, it'll always be on the end of the string. So it's not a problem. Uh, that's few. That's I'll, I'll sleep easy tonight. Well, listen, many, well, many congratulations in advance for what you're doing in January. Lovely to see you. P, thank you very much. So basically, bid a huge amount of money when it comes to the auction a little bit later on.